Hey, this is Brett with Summit Ford in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, your new and used Mustang and Mustang Mach-E headquarters. Today we are checking out our very first 2021 Mustang Mach-E first edition all-wheel drive in grabber blue metallic. First off, I'd like to say thank you to the owner of this vehicle. This was a sold order out. He, is, he was kind enough to let us do a video on the vehicle. So thank you to him. First impressions, I uh, was very uh, thrown off by the color. I, I knew it was grabber blue, but it, the metallic in the paint really threw me off. Good looking car. The interior is really nice. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, Turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the looks, styling, color, and options of the vehicle before seeing it in person. This one does have the glass roof, which when we get inside is really a cool thing to see. I'll start off with your charging. It's right here. No gas fill up. This is an all electric vehicle, so just plug in your charger right there. And you can get charger for your house. comes with the 19 inch painted and polished aluminum rims or the polished aluminum rims with the painted pockets however you want to say it Michelin Primacy all season 225 55 R19 tires and they are an all season tire four wheel disc brakes on the Mach-E coming around the front here you get the LED headlamps the LED running lights and if they look like they're flashing, they're actually not. It's just the frame of the video uh, versus the frame or versus the uh, flash on the LEDs. You get the front bumper parking sensors. You also have the 360 camera, which is that right there. This one has adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, part of its safety equipment. I like the gloss black bottom lip of the bumper there and the gloss black on the bottom of the sides of the doors there. I'm going to show you the original window sticker on this vehicle. I'm not going to go through everything but just some of the main points such as 2021 first edition all-wheel drive 88 kilowatt hour usable extended battery single speed transmission grabber blue metallic Black Performance Active X interior with blue stitching. And then your exterior options are the everything right there. These are all standard equipment on the vehicle. And like I said, I'm not going to go through everything on here. We'll point out the warranty is 3 year 36 bumper to bumper, 5 year 60 powertrain, 5 year 60 roadside assist assistance, and then 8 year 100,000. Um, on the batteries and components of the electric system. The first edition is a $8,600 option. And then uh, you get those 19 inch wheels with the painted pockets, the all season tires, and the front license plate bracket. Your total MSRP is $59,400. And then check out our entire inventory in the upper right hand part of your screen is a link to our website. So click that and check us out there. So your fuel economy, is a little different on an electric vehicle. You get the miles per gallon E for electric. And then uh, this one has 90 combined city and highway, 96 city, 84 highway. So you actually get better um, miles per gallon on the uh, city side of things. And you can see as far as the uh, smog rating and greenhouse gas rating, they're for the best, which you'd expect on an all electric vehicle. I also like that they have the first edition plates on the door sills there. Like I said, four wheel disc brakes on the Mach-E. So come around the back, you can see it does have the backup parking sensors. And if we get up close and you have those HD capabilities on, you can see the metal flake in the paint. It's really really threw me off when I first saw it. 
has a sequential tail lamp, so when you have the turn signal on, they'll be flashing one at a time, which is pretty cool. That is a power lift gate. And we'll actually take a look back here. It's also a foot activated lift gate, so you can just put your foot under there if you got the key in your pocket. It'll automatically open up. These are the factory floor mats. And you do get a tire inflator kit back here as well as a sunshade that you could hang up. Those seats do fold down and they go down pretty flat, which is nice. And then to get this gate down, you press this button. You can see it does have that foot activated um, lift gate there as well. On the mirrors here, you get the blind spot monitoring, built-in directional signals. They do power fold in. You get the keyless entry on the sides here. And then you do get the, uh, you can actually use a thumbprint to uh, program as a key. And then when you press the button, it just opens up like so. And they got these little handles here to uh, open the door. Here's that active X interior that they were talking about. It's very much like leather blue stitching, but I'm guessing it's synthetic. And I guess you can only get the blue stitching and stuff on the first edition. So really good looking either way. Power driver's seat, lumbar, power windows, power locks, power mirrors. And then these mirrors, like I said, fold in like so. And you do get memory, memory driver's seat. Auto headlamps, tilt, telescopic steering wheel. And as we hop inside here, this is where things get a little bit different. You do have the 10.2 inch information center. You get your digital speedometer, range to empty, uh, compass, and then your odometers on the right, as well as your gear selector. And uh, when you're ready, when it says ready, you're ready to go. So the car is on right now, essentially, and we could put it into drive and just take right off. You get the not sure if that's ActiveX or leather either, but it's the leather-like material on the steering wheel. Bluetooth and audio controls on the right. Cruise controls, adaptive cruise control, and then lane um, keep assist is uh, that button right there. You can get the gloss black on the steering wheel, the Mustang logo, gloss black trim around the Mustang logo. Really a good looking setup. And then uh, these are this carpeting up here is actually your speakers, part of the B&O sound system. And then you get the 15 and a half inch radio right here. This one has AM, FM, and uh, Sirius XM radio capabilities. So you're going to want to click that, and that'll take you to your main menu. And then if you click, say, navigation, it's really cool. It takes you to the navigation, but then it also has like your different apps or different things you can do with the radio down here is kind of a quick list. So if you had your cell phone hooked up, you could do that. You have your radio, tire pressures, your trip. So if I just click that, you can see that that'll go to the radio, but then it takes your navigation, what was just up there and puts it right down there. So it's really a cool system. Um, down here are your heated seats and heated steering wheel controls, as well as your climate controls. I got everything off right now, but you can do your heated steering wheel, heated seats, and, uh, or you can do it to auto or that. So really a cool system there. Same thing with your climate control. You can kind of toggle that, which is neat. And the fan, just turn it off and then put it back down. So really an intuitive radio. And then you have this for your volume, which is pretty easy. We got some Jimmy Buffett playing right now. Anyways, back to the review here. Get the turn dial for uh, your shifter. And then this is your parking aid, active park assist. You can turn that off and on. Has the electronic parking brake, your keyless entry. And um, yeah, you get that same trim throughout on the inside. And then you have the glass roof, which is one of my favorite parts of the mach -E's. Really good looking. You have your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems, map lights, and auto dimming mirror. 
We'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll do one more final walk around. We'll also take a look under the hood. There's not much under there, but I like the back doors too. You just press the button and they'll open up nice and smoothly. And I was surprised with all the space that you have back here as far as leg room. And uh, just seems like a pretty good size sitting area. Everything's all trimmed out with the blue stitching. You do get a USB and a USB-C charger back here. Latch child safety system for any child car seats. And then these seats do fold down like so. And you can see they go down pretty flat, which is nice if you have to haul a bunch of extra stuff. And that's that. Take a quick look under the hood. This is where you put your washer fluid in. So this is a drainable storage area. I think the drain's right down there. So you can put liquids in here and stuff, I guess. Or if it gets wet in there, no problem. But just kind of an extra trunk, basically. Definitely looks different than any conventional, conventional um, combustion engine vehicle. So that's what it looks like. We'll do one more final walk around on the vehicle here. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you'll have gotten a really good look at the Mustang Mach-E in person, inside and out. Got a good look at this grabber blue metallic color. And uh, saw the radio, saw the instrument cluster, and just a little bit about the Mustang Mach-E first edition. And to see more videos of this vehicle or other vehicles like it, in the upper left-hand part of the screen, a link to our YouTube channel to subscribe. On the right-hand side, a link to more Mustang videos. And uh, if you haven't been to our website on the bottom, link to our website on the bottom. Click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering the 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E and all the uh, trim levels that are going to come with it and uh, all the customers that are going to check it out and help make the planet a greener place. Thanks again for checking out the video.